welcome back to my channel today the look i'm gonna do is this look right here and i'm gonna be doing it with the beauty killer palette by jeffree star and it's a beauty like i just want to show you guys the colors really quick look at how beautiful those colors are this is my first time using this palette I am excited because it's my number two video and I mean come on now everybody's raving about this palette and I just want to see what it's all about and if it's worth it and well I mean can you tell can you tell if it's worth it anyway this palette is amazing you guys I love it I love the colors I love the how they feel texture it doesn't go on patchy they blend amazing um, I did something simple for you guys something that anyone can do someone you know going to work going out going to a family gathering or anything like that anybody can do it so with that being said let's get started so as you can see, I have one eye done. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the other. Well, not do the other eye, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Oh, I can't, I gotta use an outline that, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did so that you guys can do it at home. And this is gonna be very simple. I didn't go crazy. I just used about, I think, four colors. And so let's get started and let's do this. Let's get the show on the boat from the Beauty Color Palette by Jeffree Star. Mm-hmm. Look at those colors. Cute. All right, so, um, the f actually, <laughs> I lied. God, I'm just backwards today. I'm gonna prime my eyes with, um, this is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and the number, this is an MW20. That's what it looks like. If you guys can't see this, I will link it down below. We are gonna start off by priming the eyelid. So I am gonna use, this is a BH Cosmetic Brush. This is, came in like a little pack of, like it's like a brown leathery package. So very affordable. Um, I'm just gonna take some of that concealer and prime my eyelid. And yes, my background changed. I'm actually filming in my basement because where I was filming before, it was just not working. I was in the hallway between all the bedrooms, between my kid's bedroom and my bedroom, and that was not, nope. The lighting and stuff, it was just a mess, especially when they wanted to come out to use the bathroom. We're gonna pat that in. I'm trying to make this video as short and simple as I can for you so that you don't get bored. Because if I blab it away, you guys are gonna be like, ugh, fast forward that shit. We are primed, now we gotta set that. So we're gonna set the whole eye with a color from here. And the color, oh man. I just ruined my palette. So we are gonna use the color China white that's on here and if you don't have this palette don't worry you can use colors at home China white it's it's white and we are going to set the eye and these colors on this palette are very 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 pigmented so and I'm, they're pigmented but they're so good they go on so good they don't go in patchy they're just good they're amazing you go, Jeffrey. So the first color that I'm gonna use is this color, and I'm using this as a transition, and that is the color Courtney. And we're gonna go ahead with that into right here, right above the crease, okay? So we're gonna take some of that color and put it right above the crease as a transition. Once we have that all up in there, and blended because you know you gotta blend it good or we're gonna go in with this color right here and that is the color 
star power. And we're gonna take some in and put that right in that crease, girl. But we don't wanna bring it all the way in. I just want all the pigment to go up in the corner here. And then with whatever's left after, go in and bring it in. So it's like kind of like an airbrush effect here. Because I don't want it to be like crazy. So give that airbrush effect there. We're gonna go in with this with no products on it, the same brush we used for Courtney or the transition color. And we are just gonna buff that out just so that it's you know nice and clean. Um, no crazy edges, we want that all blended. And once you do that, it should start coming together. Now the next color we're gonna go in with is this color right here, and we're gonna go in with Vanity. And we're gonna take that color, and we're gonna put it right in the crease. So, well, not in the crease, a little bit um, below the crease. So since I did my crease up there, we're gonna put this one right here. And we are going to, before my battery dies, um, so I have put in that uh, vanity color. I'm gonna use this Morphe E22 brush to blend that out. So I'm just gonna blend. And I'm gonna bring it in halfway. Blend it. So we're gonna bring it in halfway and blend it out. Just like that. I'm going to go back in with that color um, Star Power, the pink one. And we are going to just put some of it is gone. So we want to just pop it back out. I'm oh, sorry about my arm popping. That's disgusting. And, and we're going to blend that out with the brush we used before. For the transition color. I just like it all blended. So let's blend it like that. And then we're gonna go in with black rainbow. And we're gonna take a very small detail brush like this. This is um uh, it's by a I got this on eBay. Um so we're gonna go in and put this into the outer V. Like that. And then I'm gonna blend that out with um, the Morphe E17 brush. It looks like this. I gotta keep looking around and make sure that it's like focusing. So you're gonna take that color and you're gonna blend it in. So I'm just blending all this out up top because I don't want any harsh lines. I want it to just look very nice and blended. I'm actually going to put in just a little bit more here because... So I'm going to take the same E22 by Morphe and I'm going to just blend that beach out. Now I'm gonna go in with a flat synthetic brush. I, this is by BH Cosmetics, this brush that I'm using right here. It looks like that. 
I usually like to pack on colors with this brush. And I'm gonna go in hit. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go in with the first color that I used to like to set my eye. When I had set my eye, this is what I used. And it's China White, and I'm gonna use that and put it right oh, on my lid. And then I'm gonna take that same China White color and I'm gonna use this, oh boy. I'm gonna use this brush by Beauty Junkies. I bought this on eBay as well. It looks like this. And I love this brush as well. I like all their brushes. I bought it online, shopping, just browsing, and I fell in love. So I'm gonna go in with China White, the same color that I used earlier. And I'm going to use that to underneath my brow bone, on my brow bone, to make everything just pop and come together. As time for this liner, and I'm gonna use, this is the NYC liquid liner. Uh, I have a love and hate relationship with this, but today it worked fine for me. I have a lot of liners that I use, like, and to be honest, I fight with all of them. I fight with getting both eyes the same. So let's do that liner. All right, so my liner is done. And now it's time for the lashes. And I'm gonna go with these Coco lashes called Queen Bee. So I'm gonna put my lashes on and I'm gonna use uh, this dual fiber glue. I'm sure you guys know about this. If you don't, well, now you do going to apply my glue. I'm gonna be careful because sometimes I go a little crazy. You guys still see me? Find the glue. And I will give it a few seconds before I apply them because you don't want to apply them while they're wet because uh, it'll get messy. And when I do that and wait, I guess I'll go on my phone and check my messages. So. I have to apply them like this because my eyes are so damn small. And I didn't apply it with mascara. Putting on lashes for small eyes is not easy at all. Okay, so my lashes are on. If you want to look, and I put them as close to the lash line as possible, whatever. So then I like to take my um gel liner by Maybelline and this is in the color black is black I just like to go in and fix any imperfections after putting the lashes on you know like blend in the lash same thing on this side all right and usually I put the mascara before I apply my lashes but Today, I just didn't want to. Uh, sometimes my eyes, uh, they've been very irritated lately. So I'm just gonna take a little bit just to, you know, 
combine my lashes to the fake lashes to the falsies just to make them blend in. So, like so. And as we blend these bitches together, the other side. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is a L'Oreal telescopic, but this one is called Shocking Extensions Mascara. I don't really care for this one. I use this one when I'm gonna go swimming or something, but. Uh, my favorite telescopic mascara is the original one, which I have not been using. I'm sorry, because has that ever happened to you guys? You're gonna put away the mascara, but you miss the hole, and you get shit all over your hand. That just happened to me. The worst, the worst things happen to me always. It's okay, I'm used to it. I'm gonna put something on my lips, and I will be back. I was just kidding, I'm gonna put some white eyeliner into my waterline just to open my eyes a little bit. So I'm gonna do the other side. I completely did not see me put on my lashes. I am so sorry. So I put white liner into my lap. Waterline. So because I decided to work backwards today, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I'm gonna take this pencil brush. This one is by Beauty Junkies. This one's by Beauty Junkies. Um, it looks like that. And I'm just gonna take um, the color Courtney that I used as my transition color. And I'm just gonna throw that underneath because I'm a dumbass and decided to forget and coat my bottom lashes. I did everything ass backwards. Don't do it. Make sure you put the bot um the bottom mascara last. Okay. I just I don't know what I was thinking. But then after that color, I'm gonna go in with the same pencil brush into Star Power and get that pink in there. So you're gonna go in. I'm gonna have to just use my little screen there for you guys. So once we have the pink, we're gonna go. I'm gonna take that little detailed brush that I used to. Um, put in the other colors like the dark colors up on my eye I'm just going to clean it off a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm going to go back in with that color vanity which is this one right here and I'm going to go close up to my um, lash line a bit three quarters of the way. And then I'm gonna take Black Rainbow, which is this color right here, and I'm just gonna do the outer part of it, of my eye. So almost following the same steps, kinda. And then I'm gonna go back in with that pencil brush and we're gonna blend it all out. Same pencil brush and we're just blending it all out. And that is it. Don't forget to like this video and do not forget to subscribe you guys. Please like it, like it, like it and subscribe. There will be more coming. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.